My name is Linnea Lankis, and I am the owner of Linus Gallery. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. The name of the show is Emanation. It's a combination of themes that we chose, motion, emotions, shadows, and patterns. But really, it's just art that I love. Personally, I love. And so we're, that's what we're showing. Emanation meaning emanating, coming from, and that's kind of what an artist does. It's a new day, it's a new life for me. Good evening, my name is Ivan Lofstrom. Nicole Leipold. I'm Carlos Grasso. My name's Sidna Latterman, and this is Myra Feely. I'm Leroy Lee. I'm Dan Pyle. I like big, I like a, a big surface, so I ended up with this size. I call them uh, the 6x6 series. All the paintings in the series are 72 inches by 72 inches. It looks like tumbling blocks when you step back and look at it, but you know, up close it just looks like scraps of fabric, which is really how it gets started. Basically, this represents sounds, in a way, in my conception of the piece. And I see this piece mostly like in a 3D kind of way. <laughs> Things evolving out of that. We've done this piece, a quilt made of V8 cams. I've cut everything first, wove it, and then it gets transferred to Myra. There are two main elements in my abstract paintings. The first one is motion and the other one is stillness. I usually take my own photographs and then I work from my photographs to do the charcoal drawings. I tend to use little less conventional tools such as Q-tips to get the softness that my style is known for. My name is Tina Dilly. It's Olga Stefanova and I'm a Russian painter. George Rode, Geo. I'm Mary Kay Stam. the subject matter I'm going to paint, but I don't know how where it's going to take me. So I start out with a, a light sketch and I start throwing my colors on the piece and it does weird things and then I work with that. You know, coming from Russia, from a totally different environment, to see all those leaves on the ground. And then one day I took watercolors and decided to paint them. You can see all the sort of shades of colors, you know, in, in one little leaf. I like working with Figurative work, I like working with people. The inspiration of my pieces are always usually human form. As you notice on this piece, I didn't do the eyes because the eyes are the windows of the soul and we tried to hide something of ourselves. We try to hide what we're going through. Margaret Burke White's photograph just haunted me. I knew two things. I knew I wanted it to look like a gelatin silver print and I knew I wanted it to be haunting. It was actually a modern ballet. So the first scene was at night, and then the sheer came up, and I went, oh, that's what I need to do. I need to somehow collage the propaganda in there, but I don't want to ruin the impact of the painting. And a friend of mine had some antique clocks that he was showing me, and I went home, and then my wheels started spinning, and I kept remembering how he had the cord coiled up like that, and I kept thinking, it looks like a bird's nest. Then I decided to add a little color, which I do occasionally, just a light bit, so it gives that effect of like a hand-colored photograph, and um, just kind of gives it a little more life. The painting is done on paper first. I, 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 sometimes I use color, color paper and cut it to fit shapes and sizes together to see how it works. I like to do small and big. I hand dye my fabric. Colors are in, in relation to the design of the piece, meaning that I'm always looking at the, what the whole represents, and then the pieces just appear in, uh, into that. We use the recyclable cans, and we tie them together as the old-fashioned quilts were put through and tied in knots instead of there was some hand quilting on them, but they're not done by machine as they are today. I'm always kind of in that mind frame where I'm just always looking at things and 
getting ideas for new drawings, inspirations for, for my next piece. So now I just try to look at things that I haven't tried before, like in this case I haven't ever done a vintage car with lots of reflections and shine on it, so that's uh, what I'm attempting now. I paint almost 24-7. I'm painting every day, um, every, you know, in the morning, night, whenever. And if I'm not painting, I'm thinking about it. I mean, since I was, you know, in high school, I always wanted to paint large. I always wanted to, to make a, a certain statement. And when you do paint large, it does make a statement. People love to see your tools. And I know I like as an artist to see things in progress, to see, oh, this is how it started and this is how it ends up. So it kind of gives them an idea of the journey that, that it takes to, to complete a drawing. There's uh, various artists art in different worlds. Yeah, it's, it's so wonderful. I like it. Great pieces. I, I, I can't tell whether I have a favorite or, or what. It's just that everything is, is different. Well, you guys have been very great. I mean, great about communicating what you need. Um, I've been looking at your videos, what you guys do, the people that you have here. It's really a nice, I'm really proud to be here. It's a new life for me, yeah. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. It's a new life for me. Ooh. I started Linus Gallery because I love art. We embrace all kinds of artists. If it speaks to us, it doesn't matter whether they're somebody who's 17 or 70. It's that they've interpreted a slice of life or a slice of their imagination in such a beautiful way that we have to exhibit it. Things happen to you in life and you either address it or you don't and most artists do. You know, it's what they make art about life.